Good morning everyone, today we're taking your mobile photography to the next level. You won't even believe you took those shots. Hope you're having an amazing day guys. Uh, this is kind of special today because I still don't have my main camera back which means I've been shooting with my phone a lot and I wanted to share with you actually how I shoot with the phone and how I edit with the phone because it's kind of uh, crazy what you can do with those little things and they're always in your pocket which makes it actually the best camera ever. On top of that, it's also going to mean that I can prove to a lot of people who keep telling me that the only reason I get good pictures is because of my camera. I can prove them that they can do the same thing on their phone. So let's get started and to get started we need some kind of environment that really inspires us to take pictures. For me it's going to be Chicago because we're still in the city. So let's get a full immersion inside the city, the sound, the visuals, all that. Wow, did you guys feel the energy in that city? Did you, did you feel like you were there? Well, now it's time to shoot and actually to shoot, well, you need your phone, duh, obviously. You have always a built-in camera, as you can see. Oh, that's funny, it's like Inception right now. It's a good camera, it's very nice for a quick snap, but if you really wanna take it to the next level, you need an app that allows you to change all the settings in your camera, just as if it was a normal camera. So what kind of app can you use? Well, depending if you're Android or iPhone, there are a bunch of them. But the one I recommend really is Lightroom Mobile. Lightroom Mobile not only allows you to edit, it also has a built-in camera feature, which is actually really good. You can set every parameter manually, and you can also shoot in DNG, which is a raw file, which means you're gonna have a lot more range in the editing part, which is kind of, kind of awesome. It's like, wow, I got a thousand dollar DSLR just in my pocket. In a way, kind of. It's pretty cool for me. If you're not setting savvy, what I recommend for you is simply to understand that general rule of thumb when you're shooting with your phone. If you tap on the bright part, it's gonna expose for the bright part. If you tap on the dark part, it's gonna expose for the dark part, as you can see. That's all you need to know. I'm not gonna dive into the details of how you can take better pictures because I covered that in other videos that you can watch and then come back here if you're lacking inspiration, if you don't have any idea how you can compose better, how you can get your subject to stick out of the background, the camera effect that you can create, all that. Everything applies for your phone as well. Now that I have the phone, I have the app, I'm ready to go shoot. Let's go find an awesome location downtown. And voila, we've got a picture super excited. Now, should we stop here? Well, Absolutely not guys, this is where you take your picture from meh, boring, to wow, insane, awesome level, up there, all the way to the sky, and everyone's like, wow, what camera did you use? And then you're gonna be like, oh, I just used my phone. All right, for that, for that, the little trick, and I mentioned that in the three things I wish I knew when I started photography, is going to simply edit your photos. Now to edit your photos in your phone, you've got a bunch of options. My three favorites are Snapseed, Lightroom Mobile and Photoshop. Each of them are for different reasons. Snapseed is awesome, it's super quick to edit, but I mainly use it when I have to do only one picture and I don't want to import it into Lightroom. Now Lightroom is my go-to. You've seen because I can shoot with the camera straight into Lightroom, but also because Lightroom saves me a lot of time. I can save the photo into collections and I can apply my own presets that, that I created on my photos, which saves me a lot of time. Time. And Photoshop, in case you're wondering, is really for the retouching. You want to make something disappear, you want to make something slimmer, bigger, longer, add elements into a photo, this is where you would go. And the app actually is pretty insanely good. Now, for this photo, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our Lightroom app and we're gonna pull up the photo and we're gonna start editing, let's go. Super excited, this is the shot I just got. I got it from a train platform, it was pretty cool with some fog in the background. Now when you get into Lightroom Edit, what you realize is you've got a bunch of tools. Now the good news is that they are exactly the same as the one that you have on your laptop. So you've got the selective tools, you know, 
it's like the brush all that you've got uh the crops you've got the profiles you've got auto auto which is really cool no i'm kidding you've got the light with the tone curves the effects all that so for this image there are a few things i want to show you <clears throat> first of all there are lights in the background and those are not turned on so i'm definitely gonna turn that on because i think it brings a lot to the image I'm going to darken a bit also that part where the fog is to get a little bit more light. And here I might darken it to just increase the depth, uh, the perception of depth on that image. So let's get started. Boom, light. Uh, let's increase our contrast a little bit. The blacks were not really black. I'm going to cut it a bit. Then you can tweak the highlights. Highlights, I'm definitely bringing it down so that I can get the background. Shadows, I'm bringing up a little bit of shadow not too much and voila then we go to the color this is the best part this is the fun part well you can make your image a bit warmer so that's what i'm going to do right now i'm gonna do local adjustments i like to add vibrance when i cut saturation that's just my thing here so uh red we've got some little i would say a little bit of red here orange and gray all that and remember guys that we are on our smartphone so it's really cool you can do that while you're in the metro you know you don't have to think too much about it. I'm going to bring down the saturation on the red. Bring down the lights on the red. I like dark reds. Uh, the orange is okay right now. I'm just going to cut it down a bit. It's very strong on that side. Yellow, green, cyan, and blue. And that's going to be it for the colors. Now there is another part which is effects. Effects actually gives you clarity. Clarity is a cool tool that gives you a bit of grunge to the image. Split tone is pretty cool. You can bring different colors in different parts of your image. Everything that's in the shadow is going to get more blue. Geometry. Geometry is something we're going to tweak here and I'm going to turn on constraint crop. But you will see what it does. Okay, so with the distortion of the lens, the buildings are a bit like that. We can actually make them more straight. Here's the before after so far, which is cool. Now let's give a little bit of depth to that image. We're gonna use our selective tools. We're gonna use that guy and we're gonna darken a little bit both sides here. So bring the exposure a little bit down and bring the shadows down mainly, you see? And then I'm gonna apply it like that. Boom. And then I'm gonna apply one more. That way I have more depth in the image. Now, one more thing, as I discussed, I want to bring out a little bit of details here up. I'm going to try to bring down the highlights. You see, it's actually something you have to decide. Either you want to blow it out completely or you want to bring it down. I think I'm going to do a mix of both. Now that I've done some local adjustments, what I realize is that for me, it's still a bit too dark. So I'm really going to bring a little bit more light here. I'm going to stop cutting the highlights as much. And I'm going to bring a little bit more of the shadows out because I think it adds to the image. Yeah, just like that. That looks pretty good. And the color, I still think it's a bit cold here. All right. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to paint the lamp. It's fairly simple. You take the brush as small as possible. You put a lot of light and then you make it really yellow because if you've seen the, the lamps in the background, they're all yellow. And then you're just going to do this up like that you don't need to do much more it's not nighttime which means there is not too much halo aura around the lamps that's pretty cool you see guys if you're coming back from work and you're bored just take a picture like that and you spend 25 minutes turning on all the lamps and voila look at that we just turned on the lamps looks before after I think it looks a lot better. Now I'm going to do one more adjustment and it's going to be very simple. And here we go, guys. This is our image. This is before. This is after. Now, if you wanted to do a really, really good job, maybe you would spend more time here and here. But overall, that's I think I'm really happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit share. Uh, actually, I'm going to press save to camera roll and then I choose the size that I want. It will be in the gallery and it's gonna be ready to be shared with the world. That's it guys, that's how I edit my photos on my phone 
For me, it is a huge time saver to be able to do it on the fly, and most importantly, when I'm traveling. Well, sometimes, you know, you don't always have your laptop, and this is super practical. And as you can see, in my opinion, it really brings the photo from like a boring level to really the next level where you're actually happy to share your work with the world because remember whenever you're sharing something you want it to be the best possible the other huge advantage of using your phone is is basically that you train your eye 24 7 you have this camera with you all the time which is great and that giant massive screen actually helps you compose pictures way better now i've got a request to ask you and it is very simple maybe you get the question all the time what camera do you use and people tell you it's because you use that camera that you take better picture now i want you to share that video with absolutely all your friends all your family all your co-workers your dogs your cat everyone who thinks the only reason you take good pictures is because you have a big camera i really want everyone to understand that a phone actually can help you take insane pictures let's just show the world you don't need a crazy camera to take better pictures and guys while we're at it i really want to give a huge huge thank you to all of you because we're reaching 10k right now which means there are 10 thousands of you i need to high five so get ready get your hand ready one two three boom <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, who cares? I really hope you're enjoying the content I'm creating on this channel. I'm traveling all around the world creating photography video. I was supposed to shoot that one outside. The sound went terrible, trucks everywhere. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The image quality was terrible, so I abandoned everything and now I shot it again here in, in a room with a super dark red background, which I think is working out pretty cool because I've got also two windows here. Anyway, I'm speaking way too much. Guys, if you like that video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite app for shooting photos. Remember, smash the SUBSERB button. It will actively help you join the adventure, come with me and hit that notification bell. It's gonna make a huge dong. You're gonna get notified for the next video. Otherwise you won't and that would pretty much suck. Why would you subscribe if you don't get notified? Remember guys, the best camera you have is the one you have with you. So no excuse, get out there, go shoot. Have an amazing time and I'll see you in the next episode. I would love to chat more about it, but it's my wedding anniversary today, which means my wife is waiting for me. I need to get going.